my dear friends, this time I decided to make these two episodes because I want episode 4 and episode 5 to be together and you to enjoy the story because it's becoming more and more interesting here. I have just one level to play together with you and then we'll show you the whole story. Wonderful Greece train, so expensive and luxurious. Oh my gosh. And the story here is uh, like Patrick, but I really uh, like the future for her to be with with her, her loving one, Jean-Paul. But we will see what will happen. Hmm? I will tell you the whole story till now. So let's start level 40 for the seven hearts to make here and i've made so many upgrades that you won't even recognize the restaurant anymore it's so different now with the soup and the meat and all the appetizing uh, delights that we have here excuse me but i'm forgetting all the time to play it's enjoyable it's really nice to chat with you but oh my gosh look at how many meat how many steaks they want and before con we continue the story uh, let me start from the beginning emily lived in the united states and her mother she had her family restaurant there and her best friend and assistant there frank helped her to find this audition for a tv cooking show in paris and she wanted to go there besides she has her um first love called Jean-Paul there at Paris and he's like her crush in like before I don't know many many years and he will be in the center of everything there in this TV show and that's why she decided to go there in Paris but she mistaken the planes and instead for Paris she got the plane for Milano. She, wa she was without any money, without any suitcase, without a phone even. Uh, and she started to work in some trattoria, like a pizzeria. Then she managed to receive some money in order to buy another ticket for Paris again. But in the last minute, again, there was a strike on the airports and she, Patrick, he will help her. He has a bike and of course the bike had broken. So what to do? In the snow, in the snowstorm, they couldn't get to the airport. So they and blah 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 i hope i helped you a little bit in this story because it's also long and you can watch my parts episode one two three episode four which was yesterday and today episode five will be in front of you i will tell you the whole story and how they will go to paris finally let's continue with the story yes. Okay. And now, one more present. Take your reward. 40 diamonds. Are really nice. And I have um, to take the achievement impeccable cooking. Win a level with the don't burn anything. Go a hundred times. And you will see why I am so excited. And we started like this. How can I even pretend to be a chef? Come on! I'll be with you the whole time. Besides, it's just a train. How hard could the menu be? What? I barely know half of these dishes. 
This is some seriously hot cuisine. Hmm. Great, I guess Chef Martin and his fiance will be getting thrown out of a moving train really soon. <laughs> uh, just stay calm, Patrick. Let's get started and we'll figure it out. Hmm, is there anything you need, miss? <laughs> Chef Martin, I hope our facilities are acceptable. Ingrid is the kitchen supervisor. Oh yes, she's arranged everything exactly as you asked. Mm -hmm. Of course, I don't mind changing everything to place the prestigious chef, even though I've been here since the very first voyage. It's great to have somebody who knows the kitchen and all the dishes, right Martin? Uh. Yeah, it looks like the place could practically run itself. <laughs> Oh, don't just, Chef Martin. We've only managed to confirm that a secret committee will be evaluating our cooking any time along the journey. Oh, I've been dreaming of finally getting that elusive first class certificate for such a long time. Wow! After passing the comfort stuff and luxury tests, cooking is the only one left. Everything is on your magical hands now. Uh. What are we gonna do the minute I start cooking? They will know I am fraud. Come on! Relax! It's been fine, you just need to stay in character. A prestigious chef, confident, maybe a bit arrogant. <gasps> Only one bed? <laughs> a gentleman like you would surely let me take the bet. Okay, okay, you're right. Chef Martin would never let his fiance sleep on the floor. <laughs> um, this is no good. I don't know how to prepare such a complex amuse bush. Uh. Well, can't you Google it or something? Not a recipe like this. Amuse bush are a bite sized representation of a restaurant's essence. The recipe won't show up online. Ingrid might know how to make it but you're supposed to be the expert here huh. then just watch the master work <clears throat> ingrid was it i'm going to need to see your amuse bouche mm -hmm. but it's usually the chef who so you don't know how to prepare it well then i dare say i'm touch disappointed <gasps> No, of course I do. I know every dish in the menu. Here, let me show you. <laughs> what? Patrick, what's this? You only needed to chop an onion. Huh? Yeah, and look at it. It's great. Not for a chef. I'll teach you. Mm-hmm. See, you need to slice it here first. Hmm. What happened to this poor onion? It looks like a crime scene in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you've heard about Chef Martin's famous mashed onion technique, haven't you? I may have read about it somewhere. <laughs> God, I'm so smooth, seriously, I can't do this for a living. Excuse me? She's clearly on to us, doofus. We'll need to be extra careful from now on. Hey. I'm so nervous, I couldn't possibly stomach any bad news. Perhaps I'll distract myself with the chef's cuisine magazine. Uh? 
Is there anything about the Rising Chef contest or about Chef Jean-Paul? Oh my dear, you're a fan too, such talent. Too bad those rumors about him and Shipani Kurana weren't true. Uh, I forgot my glasses, here keep it, I will find another copy later. <gasps> I guess it wouldn't hurt to take a look. Emily, you you look like you've seen a ghost. No. A rise and fall. How Chef Martin went from prestigious chef to a financial fraud. It says he was arrested last last week. Hey, this means we don't need to worry about him anymore. But we do have a worry about this. Look at the picture. You have to tear this out of every issue before anyone sees it. Go, I'll cover for you in the kitchen. <clears throat> okay, every magazine on the newsstand is article free now. Mm -hmm. Puffy bike, vertical seven letters. Oh, souffle. Emily, dear, could you bring a cup of coffee to my room? I'll need to complete this curse word. Huh? Shoot, she must have taken it before I arrived. What do we do? Huh. Hmm, follow me. We are going to need a Chef Martin's Devonach charm to get it back. Hmm? Can I help you with anything? Oh. No, it's just I'm impressed how fast you can prepare such a complicated dish. Hmm. Look, M Monique has always gone after the big names. I've seen a lot of prestigious chefs come and go. But me, I've stayed here all these years. I will not let anything or anyone screw this up for us. But he's more of a gentleman, at least. <sighs> it's so good to sleep on a proper mattress, but where's Patrick? Thanks. Hey, thanks for taking the floor last night. My back owes you big time. <sighs> Good morning, sleepy hat. <gasps> taking the floor? Wait a minute, you two don't sleep together? What? Well, why? Yes, of course we sleep together. We are engaged. You do? On the floor? <laughs> Sleeping on the floor is the latest trend, completes stiffness, improves dream quality, <laughs> and it prevents muscle soreness. That's why my back owes him. You two are definitely hiding something, and I will get to the bottom of it. Emily, pass me the carrots, please. Hmm. No ring on your finger? That's peculiar for an engaged woman. I always take it off to cook. Wouldn't want it falling into the food, would you? Hmm, maybe your fiancé bought it a size too big. What size was her ring, chef? <laughs> Size? Um, American ring sizes are different, of course. Medium. Come on. Ingrid, enough with the third degree already. We are a couple. Oh. Really? You're not very aficionate for an engaged couple. I've never seen you kiss, not even once. Hey. Then you obviously haven't been paying attention because we kiss like all the time. 
Well, I'm paying attention now, go ahead. If not, I could tell Monique about all these inconsistencies I've seen. Maybe she will help me understand. Hmm. Fine, no need to call Monique, it's not that big a deal. Monique, I was just about to... What? The evolution committee is already here? <clears throat> this is it. Chef Martin, the committee is here. Is everything ready? Mm -hmm. Chef Martin is right, is right as rain. Not so sure about the sexy guy pretending to be a him. As long as we stick to the plan, we should be all right. Got it? I need to expose them. There must be something here. <laughs> what are all these torn pages? And why do they need so many crossword puzzles? Five letters across French for stuffing it. Uh, is this some kind of secret code? <sighs> I can't believe you forgot your cheat sheet. <gasps> oh no, she saw the article about Chef Martin. Huh, what article? <clears throat> I knew it, it's a farce. I'll tell Monique right now. You two are toast. What? What are you doing? Uh, Just trying to buy some time while we figure out our next move. What? Uh, it, it won't work, it's locked. Where is my phone? Ah, oh, I must have left it in the kitchen. Uh, we can't do anything, it's completely stuck, it's impossible and also really convenient. <gasps> Wait, you're leaving me behind? What else can we do? The door won't open and they're expecting us. Fine, go, but you are on your own. I can't wait to see how you screw it up. Wow. Emily, that amuse bouche looks amazing. Mm -hmm. And your chopped onions finally look like chopped onions. Well, I still can't get the consomme right. Luckily, no one's ordered it. Chef Martin, one of our estimated judges, changed his order. He wants the consomme. What? Um... Ingrid, are you there? Hmm. Unless I've learned how to wa how to walk through walls. Yeah, sorry about that. I promised we'll find a way to get you out. But first, we need your help. <laughs> oh, how's that possible? Is the savoir faire of the prestigious chef not enough? We are doing great so far. I just need your help to prepare the consomme. Did you sh did you chill the mousse to the correct temperature? Mm -hmm. Yes, and I added the sauce right afterwards, not before, just like you said. Hmm. That's not bad for a cheater anyway. Please Ingrid, I know how bad you means a lot to you. We are so close to getting the certificate. Hmm. Okay, listen closely. I, I will say it once. Dinner's over, finally. The evaluation committee has just left. Now all we need to do is wait for their call and we'll know the results. Sorry. Uh. It's fine, what happened? 
Ladies and gentlemen, we regret to inform you that the train had come to an emergency stop due to an unidentified multifunction. We are currently investigating the cause of this multi um, malfunction. In the meantime, the train will be unable to continue its journey. Hmm. The train still not moving. You are already cutting it close to reach the audition on time and now. Do you regret it then, going on this journey, leaving everything behind? I don't know, I hadn't thought about becoming a world-class chef for years, but I've learned so much since I left last night when we shared the bedroom. Well, yeah, I discovered that you snore like a walrus. What? What? No, I don't. I sleep like a princess and no gentleman would say otherwise. I bet you thought you could get away with it, didn't you? No, on my watch. Huh? Ingrid, how did you get out? Hmm. The door was impassable, but there was another way out. <gasps> the window? Are you insane? Wait, you stopped the train? <laughs> I told you I know all of Helvetia's secrets. I just needed to pull some wires to activate the emergency systems. Great, Monique is coming. Uh, this French for stuffing is now over. I'm gonna tell her everything. <gasps> Ingrid, where were you? I haven't seen you all evening. Well, Monique, that's quite the tale. Whoa. Actually, that's not important. The evaluation committee just called. We got the certificate. Wow! Oh, this is utterly fantastic. We could ha we couldn't have done it without you, Chef Martin. Anyway, Ingrid, you were saying something earlier. Hmm. I, it was nothing, just that some of the room doors need maintenance. Um. Actually, we do have something to say. The only reason we were able to earn this certificate is because of Ingrid. <gasps> Isn't that right, darling? All right, I've worked with a lot of great chefs in my day, uh, but very few of Ingrid's caliber. Hmm? Ingrid? Our Ingrid? She's the reason we got the certificate, not me, and that is why we are leaving this train at Paris. With Ingrid here, we are sure the kitchen couldn't be in better hands. <gasps> Good grief! All these years and I had no idea. Is this true, Ingrid? <laughs> well, I suppose it is. I will certainly miss Chef Martin, though, and his loving fiance. We are now at Paris, Gare de Lyon. Please take your belongings. Ah, here we are. I thought we would never make it. <laughs> Tell me about it. I'll finally be able to continue my trip across Europe. And you will finally get rid of me. Must be your lucky day. <sighs> well, I guess this is it then. Hmm. Yeah, I've got to find a way to get my bike over here. And you? You've got a contest to win. And an old love to... Uh, Rec rekindle, I guess. Um, Patrick, I... Huh. I know. Now hurry up. You don't have much time left. Yes! 
I made it, I can't believe it. One more step and I will get into the audition. Oh, oh I can't wait to get my book signed. Um, uh, sorry to bother you, but isn't this the line for the Rising Chef audition? No, sweetie, I think the quip uh, uh, you want is over there and they seem to be closing already. What? What? I better hurry then, thanks. Wait, why are there only little kids in that line? Hmm. Sorry, my mistake. Turns out you were in the correct quip after all. The open call just closed. Me and that gentleman in a coat took the last two slots. Such bad luck. <gasps> but, but, but you said... Girl, look at you. You wouldn't have stood a chance. Anyway, let's be honest. I just did you a favor. <laughs> it's Frank! Emily, is that you? I've saved you a spot. I let her thought she's with me. 